Hey everyone, Brian here, and I'm here with a video game review of a game that you may have heard of, and may not have heard of. It came out in 2003. It was released by in partnership with, between Konami and Disney Interactive. It was part of a sports series of game, a series of sports games featuring all the Disney characters, and that is Disney Sports Basketball. I don't know if you can see it or read it right there, but that's what it is: Disney Sports Basketball. Now, the, like I said, there was other series of sports games out there, like Disney Sports Football, Soccer, Skiing, I think, things like that. But basically, uh, what this allows you to do is play with the different characters, different classic Disney characters throughout, you know, that started help put Disney on the map, like Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Max, Roxanne, well, not Roxanne, but Pete, Mortimer, you know, you get the idea, Huey, Dewey, Louie. And basically what it is, is that all the main characters are comprised of, are captains. The only exception is Huey, Dewey, and Louie are a team among themselves. So they don't have no, like, additional players. But Huey, Dewey, and Louie are a team. team. So they're, like, the only major characters together. But here it is. You got all these characters, they got different names, like the Superstars for Mickey, Chalmers for Minnie, Bells for Daisy, Sea Ducks for Donald, uh, Shifters for Max, Space Nuts for Goofy, Imperials for Mortimer, Tiny Rockets for Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and uh, Steamrollers for Pete. Now, in Exhibition Mode, you can play against a friend or against a computer, and, and it's basically like... Mickey's team against Donald's team, things like that. Mickey's got a team comprised of cats, I think. Minnie's got a team comprised of bunnies, Donald and Daisy and Huey, Dewey and Louie of chickens and Goofy of, uh, you know, you get the idea if you played the game. Now, um, now basically there's a story mode in here. It's called the Challenge Cup in the season. There is a story mode. It's called the Challenge Cup. And what you do is... The more you win against other opponents, those captains of the teams that you beat become part of your team. So you could start out with, you know, like, say, Mickey Superstars, and you could start off the way you do in Exhibition and in Season Mode. Because in Season Mode, you do keep the same uh, team that you keep in Exhibition. But in Challenge Mode, when you win this, when you beat a team, like I said, that team captain becomes part of your team. So in other words, someone like, if you beat Donald's team, if Mickey beats Donald's team, then Donald becomes part of Mickey's team, and if Mickey beats Minnie's team, she becomes part of Mickey's team. Uh, you know, you get the, uh, well, you get the general idea of what happens. And then once you beat that entire Challenge Cup, you unlock the All-Star game, so it allows you to switch around any players you want on, on the team of the captain that you won with. And then, of course, like I said, you got Season Mode, and it's got three difficult levels there. Uh, another thing you have is, if you want to put it on there, it's called Auto Special Dunk. And basically what that means is when you get up to, like, a, there's like a little meter at the bottom. And once you hit certain special slam dunks and everything, once that meter's all lit up, the little circle or three-point stance where you are starts to light up. And as soon as you get up to that, just press, I believe, the L button on your GameCube controller. And you all of a sudden you get this great graphic of you doing a spectacular dunk and all that. But basically, it's like a special super dunk. Uh, overall, the game is pretty good. It's very family friendly, and it's a great collection if you're a Disney fan of Disney games. It is on the GameCube, but it does work on the Wii because you know, as you know, Wii's also work with GameCube games. So overall, I'd say it's a, I'd say it's a, a seven. 7.5 out of 10. You know, um, like I said, it's a good game. It's up there. So, uh, well, actually, it should be more of an 8 out of 10, shouldn't it? Because it is a good game. Like I said, great challenging, difficult levels at times, depending on how you like your difficulties. If you like a challenge, you can go to three stars and, you know, you get the idea. But overall, Disney Sports Basketball is highly recommended for me and probably anybody else that's played it. People may say it's a kid's get, uh, you know, for little kids. It's not. It's for the entire family. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my review on it. And if you ever get a chance to find it somewhere, go to eBay, Amazon, buy it. If you got, if you can find it on GameFly like I did, 
you know, get it, it will definitely be worth your while. It's definitely worth hours of entertainment. So until next time, I'm Brian saying thank you for my review. Uh, thanks for watching my review, and take care. Have a good Saturday.